is week four of my journey to monetize my YouTube channel. Well, not week four, but week four <laughs> since I started um, actually filming it. I've been trying to monetize it since, gosh, 2020. But I've had some ups and downs along the way. And in the last few weeks, I've started vlogging as well. So I'm Helen and um, at the time of making this video, I'm just a, over a month away from my 61st birthday and just over six years away from retirement age. So I'm looking at ways to boost my income when I retire because of various reasons. I don't have any savings and I'm looking at other ways to have a, an income f for my retirement. And I always love being creative and I love, love YouTube and I teach meditation. So I've been making guided meditations on my channel for a long time. But now I'm talking more about other aspects of my life too. Now, if you're new here, then please do uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you're a returning viewer, you might notice that how much better quality this video is than previous ones. Because yesterday I got myself a new phone. Um, I'm going off traveling soon and I wanted to get a decent phone with a decent camera. And just even as I'm filming this, I'm looking at it to see how much better it is than the old one. And I know that it's it's the content has to be good as well. But also, I believe that the quality of the video will hopefully retain viewers for longer. So, you know, it... it I wouldn't let that stop you from creating get out and do it you can see from my previous videos that I didn't have such a good camera or I used my laptop camera which is is not as good so I've gone for a, a Samsung because I read reviews and said that their camera was the best so I'm paying four and a half times as much a month now than I was for my old one so hopefully that will, I will get a return on my investment and I'm off on my travel soon so I would like to have a decent camera for that as well and also being an old person it's bigger than my old cat and my old phone so it's easier you know fat fingers pushing the buttons and and things and it, and I also gave me like a good reminder tutorial when I was setting up my gimbal because that's been a a journey with that still is with trials and tribulations gimbling along and uh, really trying not to swear at it <laughs> it took a few goes to get it set up because it can be very temperamental but it is good it does lots of good things and it's the one that's been recommended I saw by lots of bloggers and it's the Insta360 flow um, and so I'm gradually building up my resources of how good equipment now you may notice this, it's windy i can see my hair blowing and the leaves in the background but the mic is a lot better on this phone but unfortunately it doesn't have a headphone jack so i can't plug in my microphone so i've had to order a um a bluetooth one and wait wait for that that be arriving tomorrow but i thought i'm not going to let that stop me so I, I'm sort of as I share my journey I hope to inspire you as well if you're thinking about starting or growing a YouTube channel and another thing I wanted to share let's share some wins from this week uh, one thing I said last week that I was going to change the description on my channel well, I said it the week before and realized I hadn't done it so I, I've done that this week with a more catchy headline about what the channel's about i think the previous one said what i posted like guided meditations and things but that doesn't say who it's for so i'm mostly aiming my channel at, at women like me who've had difficult lives been through a lot in their life and it hope to inspire you that whatever's gone on in the past that that doesn't define your future and it doesn't matter how old you are you can always start over start again so I'm reinventing myself as a travel writer as a blogger um, and of course those jobs didn't well travel writing did but um, but vlogging certainly not 
when I left school and and write any writing, you there'd be a lot of competition to get to get into journalism or whatever, get books published. But now anybody can do it. You can publish a blog. You can self-publish books. So really, there are the barriers to entry are much lower. So anybody you know can get started. If like me, you, you have to get over the all the frustrations of technology when it works it's great but um, I was thinking just before I started this video about about learning that they said oh it's so hard to learn new habits and new things when you get older now I don't think that's true I think it's hard to unlearn things because habits become very ingrained um, so the things that we tell ourselves oh I can't do this I'm too old it's too difficult that's that's not true. <laughs> I don't believe at, at any age that it's too difficult to learn anything new, but it's harder to unlearn habits that have been coming, become ingrained for, for many years. So uh, I've now got used to seeing myself on camera. At first, you know, people cringe. Oh God, I feel so embarrassed. I feel self-conscious. But now just think about all the other people that are doing now, doing it out there, you know, you're nothing special. Uh, there's loads of people film, filming themselves and uploading reels and videos all the time. So uh, that doesn't need to be a barrier anymore either. So I've had some growth on my uh, channel this week and although I'm nowhere near um, meeting the requirements for the YouTube partner program, I have actually made some money from my channel this week. And that was because I well, I, I, as I said, I changed the description, but also if you go onto the, the home page of any channel, you'll see a description and then there's a bit underneath for links and you can expand those links and I think you can put as many links there as you want, but you can only actually see one. So I changed that to um, a, a link to donate. It's a site called Buy Me A Coffee and uh, I said, well, buy me a cup of tea because I'm British and we drink tea. Here we are drinking tea now <laughs> and I've received three donations from that this week for five pounds each okay it's not gonna it's not gonna fund my retirement but it's a win and that's the other thing track those wins and the channel's grown as well I've it's grown by more subscribers than it has the previous two weeks I'll share the figures in a minute and um, and also the total amount of hours viewed over the last year has grown as well so it's all going in the right direction and, and not only is it growing but it's growing at a faster rate which is what we want we want that compound um, growth so if it goes up by say 1% one week then we would aim for say going growing by one and a half or two percent the next and then that compounded over a year. It grows very quickly. So that's what I'm aiming for. And as I said before, constantly looking at ways to improve like the qualities of my videos. I have somebody who edits them for me. I can do a little bit of simple editing on the InstaFlow app. You can, if, you, if you've recorded some videos, you can drop them in and just like, put them together but if I want to cut things out or do special effects I, that's not my thing and I leave that for my my VA to do because I think it's about realizing what you want to be spending your time on if you enjoy editing videos which I really don't and I don't really have any desire to learn it's not that I couldn't but there are other things that I would rather be doing with my time and one of my mentors one of the courses that I've been doing about learning about YouTube he says from the beginning treat it like a business so um, in any business you well unless you're doing everything on your own as a sole trader um, in a big business you've got different people doing different things and it all comes together so even you know if it's like for me there's just a team of two of us there's me and my assistant but it takes the pressure off me, it takes a he headache. I record the video, send them over to her. If I, if there's a blooper or I swear or drop something, she can cut those out for me and, um, and make them look nice with a, 
well, I, obviously I filmed the intro and then she made the nice transitions and the and the little introduction to the videos and, and puts the text on and, and things like that that are, are actually, they're quite time consuming, um, especially when you're starting out and you're learning. Okay, it might become quicker over time, but is that really what you want to be spending your time doing? And I'd really invite you to ask yourself that, to think, what do I want to be doing? Okay, um, maybe when you start out, we're not at the stage yet where we can em employ or hire a videographer to do the filming as well. But now there's such great equipment out there, like my lovely new phone, which has got a much better camera, and my and my gimbal, which at the moment I'm using as a tripod. But when I'm moving around, I can also use it as a selfie stick as well, and it keeps the the camera level. So. You know, it's like you walk in when you walk in and it's bumping up and down. Um, that's me doing that. <laughs> anyway, so let's go to the to have a look at the figures, and please uh, subscribe if you haven't already and support me on my journey. And it also helps if you can just go and watch some of my other videos. You can put them on in the background because it's that watch time that's the important thing because my. The difference between my, the number of my, my subscribers and the watch hours is not, even if I grew to a thousand subscribers in the next week, I don't think at the current rate of watch time that it would go up to 4,000 because I need 4,000 hours of watch time in, in a year and I've got, only got 400 and something so there's a, there's a big gap a bigger gap between the hours of watch time that I need and the number of subscribers. But as I said, there are other ways that you can get creative to earn some money um, on the journey. So I'll put a link below to my the gimbal that I use, which will be an affiliate link. It won't cost you any more, but I get a small percentage if you then click on and buy it. And you can also use um, Amazon Associates. That's not as easy as it used to be because they, if you don't get a certain number of sales in six months, you have to start again, which is a bit annoying. It's not very good. I don't think it's very supportive for people when, when they're starting out. But you've got you know options like that for a bit of affiliate income. And when, when I go traveling, I've um, signed up to some affiliate programs so I can share, you know, some of the things like the, the flight booking app that I use. So if somebody clicked on that and then booked a flight, I'd get a percentage of that. So you, you can look at other ways to earn money without obviously monetizing the YouTube channel. Don't let that, that stop you think, oh, I've got to wait till I get to 100 sorry a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time before I can start earning money from my YouTube channel and another way is for me because I'm a meditation teacher and I teach meditation I always direct people to the insight timer app because there they can listen to guided my guided meditations without being interrupted by adverts because unfortunately until I qualify for the partner program I have no control over what adverts go in in the videos and yeah, normally that it's not too bad if it's just a few seconds and you just click skip. Or, but when you're meditating, you don't really want that in the middle of your video. So um, that so, but and also on Insight Timer, I, I earn a little bit of money from that. I've received some donations from that recently as well. So think about what it is that you do. I mean, YouTube is one of them, but it's your, you're not. Um, I think of the words here, you're not the YouTube person, you're not the, the video person. You're on here to talk about what you're good at, what your strengths are, what is it, what's your business, what what do you do? So my um, thing is teaching meditation and helping people to recover and rebuild their lives again because meditation is what did it for me so i'm sharing my journey and the and the tools that help me and then also teaching those tools so people can use them as well so think about that what what is it that you could come on here and earn even when you've only got a few hundred subscribers like i have that you could be doing to be earning some money already and there are so many 
little lovely ways of doing it now um, like yeah just as simple as buy me buy me a coffee and somebody click on that it doesn't cost them very much but it, it it's a nice way you know I've done that on the insight timer one of my meditation teachers I went on there I made her a donation because I appreciate you know the time that goes into this as well um, and it's a nice way to give something back okay let's head over to the um, screen I haven't figured out a way yet to share it on my phone so unfortunately the video quality is going to drop for the next bit so here we are then and looking at the figures for this week you can see that I've also been playing around with backgrounds as well and that's a picture of sunrise at the sea the sun just coming up there um, where I go swimming down at the end of my road so let me share my screen my youtube channel is here so you can see, first of all, here, I've changed the description about what it's about rather than what types of videos that I post. And also, I talked about before the link. So if you click on here, it gives you a longer description. And below, you've got the links there. And a few email addresses. Oh, I don't need to worry about that. But um, <clears throat> we've got... So I, as I said, I've changed the top link to buy Helen a cup of tea. So that's the one you see when you go onto the channel. Um, and at the top here, we've got the figures from a plugin that I use called VidIQ, which, and when you upload videos, it gives you it like score for the quality of your title, your description and, um, how likely it is to get found. Another thing that I do need to do as well, that will be my thing for this week, is changing that header image. That's been there a long time. It's just a stock photo, but I need something. I mean, it is relevant, you know, it's like somebody who's being joyful, but with some words that says more about the channel. So the all important figures. So this week we now have 376 subscribers. Interestingly enough, um, last week, just after I, I made this video, I got um, I went to upload it. I'd already got three more. And that was after I changed the description and put that link in there, which is interesting, isn't it? And then um, 416 hours. So I'm just over a tenth of the way there to the amount of hours view time that I need to join the partner program. Um, so the gap between the amount of subscribers and the view time is getting smaller. So I need to figure out some ways to um, get more views. So hopefully, like I said, having a better camera will help. Uh, better quality video, better quality sound, because I'll be able to also record my go my guided, my guided, my guided meditations using that. And I think you know that's important for that, isn't it? To have a good sound when you're leading a guided meditation. So that's you know some of the things that I've been doing this week, uh, and so it feels like yeah, that a lot of progress has been made with the actually getting some some money not directly from youtube but because of my, my youtube channel so i just want to encourage you to keep 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 going keep doing the work and um yeah and just celebrate all the wins um and i'll be back for week five next week and in the meantime have a wonderful week take care i'll stop sharing as well so yeah have a wonderful week take care Go well and lots of love.